Hey learners, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be on trial balance. Before we start the video, it's a humble request. Please subscribe to my channel so that whenever I come up with any video, you will directly get the notification. Now without wasting more time, let's come to the video. A trial balance is an accounting report that have a list of ending balances of general laser accounts to ensure the debit and credit balances are equal or not. What is a trial balance? A trial balance is an accounting report you put together at the end of an accounting period to ensure the general accounting ledger is correct and the total debits matches with the total credits. The biggest goal of a trial balance is to find accounting errors and transposition errors like uh, switching digits. By highlighting these mistakes, the trial balance act as an accuracy check for a business. Mitigating the risk of uh, inaccuracies before you generate final financial statement. So here you can say that trial balance give you a double check on your financial transaction financial report. You can literally uh, remove the errors. You can check whether you have mistakenly added something twice or uh, you have just added or made a kind of mistake in your uh, report or not. So you can say it's a safe way of keeping a record of your finance. Now let's see how a trial balance work. The trial balance gather all your general laser accounts. When you put together your trial balance, usually at the end of an accounting period, you create three columns. First, account name, second debit balances and third credit balances. With the trial balance, debit balances typically feature assets and expenses accounts while credit balances represent the company's liabilities, capital and revenue. A trial balance is a key step in the accounting cycle. You record all your accounting transactions and post them to the general laser then assess the debit and credit total. Now we will see types of trial balance. Trial balance have three types. First, unadjusted trial balance, second adjusted trial balance and third post closing trial balance. Unadjusted trial balance, this is the initial trial balance directly from laser accounts. It helps detect errors and uh, omissions before making any account adjustments. Second, adjusted trial balance. This happens after incorporating adjusting entries to reflect changes for accrued or you can say deferred items. It corrects misstatements found in the unadjusted version. Third, post-closing trial balance. This comes after closing entries and zeros out temporary accounts like revenues and expenses. Now let's see how to create a trial balance. To prepare a trial balance accurately, it is essential to follow a structured approach. Second, record all financial transaction in the daily book, ensuring every entry is posted to the corresponding account in the general laser. Third, calculate the total debits and credits separately for each account by adding up the uh, respective amounts. Okay? Four, Determine the balance of each account by subtracting the credit total from debit total. This will result in either a debit balance if debit exceeds credit or a credit balance if credit exceeds debits. Fifth, create a table with one account per row. Uh, the column should display the sum of all debits, uh, the sum of all credits, credit balances and debit balances. Six, in the last two columns indicates the account balance amount based on whether it represent a debtor if it has a debit balance or a creditor if it has a credit balance. Seven, validate your trial balance by summing up each column's row to ensure that the total debits matches the total credits confirming that your accounting records are balanced when it is balanced which means yes you don't have any error you didn't add anything twice or uh, uh, 
uh, you can see you have double checked uh, your all transactions now let's see why it is so important to understand trial balance first it allows establishing the periods movements observing compliance with recognition principles initial and subsequent measurement and uh, derecognition second uh, it allows you to analyze the balances of the items that make up an account to express whether your balance is adequate. Third, it enables determining materiality and relative importance criteria in the financial statement. Four, it allows for determining uh, error in account balances, item with a sign contrary to their nature. Five, it checks the double entry that the sum of the debit equals the credits. Six, it makes the, um, you can say it makes it possible to identify whether accounting estimates have been made on any item in the statement of financial position and the statement of comprehensive income. So here what we understand with all these discussions that trial balance is a smart way to keep an eye on your records because here you double check your all transactions if debit and credits are equal which means that your report is uh, suitable there is no mistake there is no error so you can see it is a smart and accurate way of uh, noting down all your records at a uh, at one place you can say so this was all about today's video if you like the video then please subscribe to my channel and give a thumb up if you enjoyed watching this video if you have any questions let me know in comment box so that i can come up with relevant video thanks for watching this video have a nice day see you soon with some more interesting videos till then have a nice day bye